episode, day 63 to 68 of my Croatian long distance trail through hike. See you on some other future through hike. Have fun, guys! Good morning, I slept on a beach in Podgora and now me and Lucky continue our true hike. Good morning guys, me and Lucky, we are hiking from Podgora through some olive trees plantation. So, it's very hot, today it's going to be mostly over 30 degrees Celsius and it's hot day in front of us. Guys, we just had meeting with the one bad mood bull hey guys sun is burning very strong I have a umbrella setup on my shoulder strap so it protects me from direct sun it's it really helps excellent and this umbrella weighs only 110 grams, so it doesn't weigh much. Holds up pretty good. So, we are above Živogošće at this moment. As I mentioned before, we had an encounter with some bulls and the shepherd dogs. And one bull was chasing me and Blackie. Blackie was chasing one calf and bull didn't like it so we had to return go all the way down to the to the road hike on the road which was not really pleasure and dangerous for the blackie and we climb up again and connect with the trail so so far everything good and I hope today we make like 30 kilometers we see sun is very strong take care guys what a beautiful beach we'll take some break here and jump into water water is fantastic clean view is beautiful and we'll we'll stay here for like hour or two and make a break so this is today's view we go there actually, that is Pedeshats Peninsula and we go there from Ploče with ferry and then on that mountain, on the ridge, all the way down to Dubrovnik and Prevlaka. I set up my tent on the graveyard because I was trying to find a room and several guys were saying that they don't want to make up the room, that they're, they were just too lazy to rent a room. So I finish up here. <laughs> 
Good morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day, very hot. Eight o'clock in the morning, and it's already like 28 degrees or something. It will be a very hot day. I'm hiking toward the mountain above Ploče. We will cross it and then we'll go down to Ploče, which is port, and there we will take ferry to Pelješac Peninsula and then continue there. So, so far everything okay. Last night me and Blackie we slept at the graveyard. We're trying to find a room with a shower to get a good rest and sleep uh, before we hit these hot mountains. But I check out with like seven or eight guys who are renting the rooms and not a single one of them was willing to rent a room for some reason or the other. They're saying that season not yet started and the rooms are not prepared. So by the time I I checked the last house with the rooms I was already pretty high in the mountains and there was graveyard the only place with a flat area for the camp so I camped there at a, some flat spot so some guys were passing by and look at me like like I'm Dracula or something you know like uh, guy from the graveyard so it was funny uh, anyway we continue our our trip and oh get back to you a little bit later take care guys bye Thunder clouds, there are some lightning, and we are above the lake near Ploče. We are hiking down the Sveti Ilija mountain, Sveti Ilija, the one above Ploče. It was very hard terrain along the trail on two occasions and me and Blackie we are exhausted so I hope we'll be able to relax a little bit in Ploče and then take a ferry to Pedeshats there, there was a real lot of snakes we've seen but every time I pull the camera out to take pictures, they're already gone under the stones or into the bushes. So we are arriving at Srniševa Lake. We go left. And above, stormy clouds. We're coming from there. And... This is the first lake near Ploče. I set up my tent for tonight near Bačesko Jezero. And I'll stay here. I think I'll jump into the lake. It's water is warm and uh, looks like it's going to rain, but I don't care about that. Oh, the blick.
Beautiful. Water is clean. Dodgy, like dodgy, 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 Waiting for the ferry to Terpan Pejeshets, where we will continue our true hike. Hi guys, me and Blacky we wait for the ferry to Terpan Pejeshets. Our GPS track and trail take us there, leads there, and it's a hot day. Uh, and we had a coffee last night we camped by the lake near Ploche and now it's time to go to Pelishans so far everything cool hot day and more cars Terran waiting for us see you later guys take care so this is with Satilia and the uh, mountains we passed from the ship's side. Hi guys, we arrived to Pedeshats. We are walking on trail and the sun is fucking brutal. Really brutal. Over 31 degree at this moment. 12 o'clock. <laughs> High sun, noon. Here it is brutal. It's called Zvizdan. From 12 to 3, the strongest sun. But I don't want to lose too much time. I would like to do some miles today so I can make progress. And I hope I make today like 30 kilometers or something. So, we will see how the trail will be. So, okay, big hug from Umbrella Crew. We are on Pedeshets Peninsula and it's very hot. We are hiking from Kuna to Janina and we go this way. Blackie is trying to catch the shadow of the tree, trees. Hot day, hot, hot, hot. This is the area which burned in a big fire a few years back. We go direction stone. This is area with a lot of poison snakes and it's hard to see them in this combination of grass and stones and three branches. So I'm making knocking noise with my trekking pole and I hope they will feel the vibrations and get lost in the grass before I step in them. So far, these tactics was proven successful in karst areas. Now, 
the trail is getting better. We are, we left Janine a little bit off the trail to Drace, like two kilometers maybe, because I want to eat something real good. I just passed 2000 kilometer line and in Janine was 2002 two kilometers. And now I'm going to celebrate in some restaurant, order myself a glass of wine and decent food. I'm starving and later continue. Small turtle. And black. Hey buddy, you're too close to the road. Go this way. Okay, bye turtle. Defense walls of stone on a hill. And this is fortress of stone. Salt production facility in the stone. This is the old way to produce salt from seawater. And Blackie pissed in the salt pool, so it will be a little bit more salty now. Soup is boiling. I set up my tent in a olive plantation and sea is not far away, just 20 meters from here, maybe I jump in later tonight. Views are beautiful, these are islands, yet really nice. This is a small non-poison snake. Ne bleki. Ne. Ne bleki. Black. Trail running direction Slano. I started very early this morning and I already made like 13 kilometers and before it gets too hot, I would like to come to Solano like 11 o'clock or 11.30 and then take a break for like 2-3 hours, swim in the sea, get, go in the shadow while the warmest part of the day pass and then I continue until late like Yesterday I did big kilometers and miles. So, yeah, going direction Slano. And trail is this asphalt road. And I don't like asphalt. I prefer trail, but it is what it is. Blacky, black dog, Trini Pass. Show me the way. Ah, big snake. Look at this, guys. It's fast.
Tu ovdje mi ide trail, međutim to je sve zatrpano. Probat ću ići nekud okolo. Sve puno zmija u pičku me. Hi guys, you won't believe where we are at the coast finally, just relaxing <laughs> and I'll jump into the water, look at this guys. There is nobody. Me and Blackie. Slano Marina. Trail running on on the side of the sea. Good morning. Sunday morning, we slept at the beach in Brasicine and now we are passing Trsteno and going direction Dubrovnik. I expect today to be in Dubrovnik, which is beautiful medieval city with the big walls and fortresses and beautiful views. So, I went a little bit off off trail and have some serious bushwhacking just a 10 minutes ago and then I return to the trail which is good uh, hot today as usual and we are approaching the end of of the trail which is Prevlaka I it's my guess it's maybe two more days and I will be finished I hope everything will go smooth till the end and this is you know easy hike to the Prevlaka the only thing is there is a lot of asphalt and since there are no available trails some of the way goes uh, on the main highway so that means me and Blackie will have to be careful with the traffic a lot of speeding cars and trucks and buses going passing by so I hope everything will be okay so that's it night at the Brsečine beach was really really peaceful beautiful and yeah we continue views are nice small islands olive trees beautiful beach is always very close so we will probably later make some break and jump into the sea cool I can see Dubrovnik from here that's the city of Dubrovnik there I go there beautiful views of Dubrovnik archipelago oh, we are getting close to Dubrovnik this is bungee jumping advertisements with the rope 50 euros one jump without the rope for free so if you like it you might get so this is Dubrovnik in front of us and we will cross Dubrovnik bridge in um, 10 minutes so 
we are hiking by this road a lot of speeding cars not really nice not really trail but it is what it is it's only way to enter the city from this side so yes we're getting close to the bridge my my faithful black is following me and I trained him to follow me like one meter behind and not to go to the road beautiful view of the Dubrovnik port and bridge we're gonna cross it right now We finally arrived to Dubrovnik and now we are with my friend Sole on the boat, Captain. And Blackie is the uh, first time on the boat but he's a little bit afraid. Come on Blackie, Odi, Odi Blackie, Odi, Odi Blackie, Odi, Odi, Odi. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is probably the last day I'm going in direction Prevlaka and this is the last part of my through hike I have like 30 kilometers 30 something and it's a beautiful day very windy at this section and yeah it's coming my through hike is coming to the end so See you a little bit later when I approach Prevlaka. Take care guys, bye. There are more. Bravo. Ne, ne, ne. Cypresses and endless sea. I walking last ten kilometers to the Trevlaka to to the end of Croatian long distance trail. Sea is on my right side and mountains on my right, left. Very hot day, sun is burning. I cannot use the umbrella because wind is blowing constantly. So Less than two hours to my destination and end my through hike. Let's go! Approximate five kilometers to the Prevlaka, most southern point of the Republic of Croatia. These are the views of the Adriatic Sea and I go there this is the trail and 
Mattia just called me and told me that there is a bar like three kilometers before Trevlaka. And for sure I'm going to stop there and first drink a lot of water, then coffee, and then maybe even I celebrate with something else. <laughs> Hi guys, me and Blackie, we arrived to Prevlaka, uh, we have like two or three more kilometers to do. We arrived to Cantina, which was a small local bar that was supposed to be open, but it's because of Covid it's closed and we were thirsty as hell, we didn't have any water left and we drank like three liters of water poor blackie poor me so we gonna refill with water and then we go to prevlaka and all the way to the fortress at the south the most southern point of republic of croatia sun is burning uh, horribly and I was trail running for past 30 kilometers, trail running 90% of the time, even on this sun. Uh, I only wear umbrella part of the trail because the wind is blowing and uh, oh, it's very hard to keep it on the, on the place while the strong wind blows. Anyway, we are very, very close, and soon we're going to report from Prevlaka, small southern point. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Oh, the ocean's got a stop. This is Montenegro, and I go direction. Prevlaka, this is the last, I don't know, 500 meters it would be, so in like 15 minutes, I, I believe, I will reach the end of the trail. So I am arriving at the most southern point of Republic of Croatia, Prevlaka. It's a small fortress, military purpose base, and let's check it out. Fortress is closed from the lower side and now we'll check out this upper approaching road and to see what's what's there and if it's possible to enter the fortress. Also, I'm looking for the sign of the Croatian Long Distance Trail, but I cannot find it. So, I hope we don't end up in some torture room.
not possible to enter. Too bad. Odi bojke, dođi, dođi, dođi zlato. Odi, odi, da te primi. Opa, evo ga. So, me and Blacky, we arrived to Prevlaka Fortress. Blacky, the black dog, made it. He was fantastic companion for the trip. And Blacky and me, we go back home. He stays with me, and he's been an excellent dog. About a true hike, it's finished. What's next? Next true hike. I guess uh, in September I will uh, true hike uh, small uh, Alpe Adria uh, true hike, which goes from Grossglockner, Austria, through Austrian peaks and uh, Italy and Slovenia, it, and it finish up at the Slovenian Italian border. So that's the plan. We will see about that. Uh, what can I say about? Croatian long distance trail through hike. I hiked 2152 kilometers and it's been really really crazy experience. Uh, there was a lot of hard days, hard moments. There was freezing nights like minus seven degrees. Uh, there was extremely hot days like 31 burning sun uh, days and uh, a lot of wildlife, bears, wild pigs, uh, angry shepherd dogs, and uh, and uh, and uh, 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 wild dogs on the way, bears, snakes, a lot of snakes, especially at the end of the trail. Um, also. Uh, Wolves. Uh, that that night with the wolves was very very special. Let's say, put it like that. Then a uh, couple of angry bulls chased us. Uh, yeah, we had uh, our share of wildlife, but everything is okay. We made it, and uh, it was great. I I want to do such true hikes in the future. It's been a really really positive experience and uh, yeah uh, I will keep on doing this and I will keep filming it and what can I say I can recommend creation long distance trail uh, it's a new trail so oh, I'm the fourth creation guy who who actually passed it there were some others but they gave up and there was one uh, Swedish hiker who made it uh, so, uh, trail is uh, really, really diverse and it goes through very different parts of Croatia with very different terrain and uh, some of the trail is it's brand new and uh, it's not so established as some other trails. So you, you have a lot of bushwhacking at some points, at some points you just you are on the GPS track, but you cannot find a trail. But the guys who are uh, uh, in the CLDT association, they're doing their best to fix the, the, those uh, problematic spots. And I hope all the future true hikers will have much better experience that I had, uh, that those issues will be solved and the trail will be So for the old future CLDT through hikers, I wish you good luck, I recommend this trail, and yeah, don't give up, do it. Bye guys. Postoji energija koja nadilazi našu potrebu za toplinom, svjetlom i pokretom. To je energija koju ne vidimo i ne čujemo. 
ali je možemo osjetiti u svakom domu, svakoj ulici, klubu, stadionu i kazalištu. Stvaramo je između sebe, dijelimo i pretvaramo u sva značenja koja tražimo. Nezaustavljiva pokretačka sila koja nas vodi od početaka do budućnosti našeg doma. To je energija koja pokreće Hrvatsku. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.